to see a strong, independent female redoing her home space in flip-flops and a skirt. Cause you know what? We can do that. And I say that because I'm pretty sure I do every remodel in a skirt or dress. everyone, Brigan Jane here. Today we have another episode of Designer Reacts. Today we're gonna kinda go all over the place, just like me. DIY bathroom reno. I'm already encouraged by this wallpaper. Sustainable budget? I don't know what a sustainable budget is. Hey, welcome back to Simply Green and Mummy. Today I thought I'd show you our bathroom. Kate is cute and full of style and knows a good animal wallpaper print when she sees one. I am hopeful. Are those lemurs? Who doesn't love lemurs? So obviously we try to renovate as sustainably as possible and buy things used and kind of do what we could. Ah, sustainable budget explained. She's trying to make purchases that are secondhand and don't cause waste. We love you for that. That's why we're a part of the Sustainable Furnishing Council. We care about these things. Good job. Oh, this is so cute. Wait, is this the bathroom she's redoing? Because I like it. Is this the after? I like this bathroom. So either she's about to wow me or I'm about to be really sad. I mean, that's kind of a cute bathroom. It's like a good use of pink in an interesting way. The wallpaper brings it all together. There's black tile, there's a clawfoot tub. I get it, but why are we redoing this bathroom? This is adorable. This is an adorable way to incorporate the oddities that your house comes with in a stylized fashion. She's gotta blow me out of the water to convince me why this needs to be redone. Okay, so I think she buried the lead on this one. This is the redone bathroom, it appears, uh, six minutes into this video, because the entire video is about this bathroom and the great design choices. Tell us it's the after, because I'm so confused. Yeah, you're great. This is great. This looks good. The pink bottom of the tub is a little aggressive for me personally, but for her personality, I think she totally pulls this off. The use of the black and silver works with wood floors. Yes, you can put wood floors in bathrooms. Little known fact, some people forget. Okay, that's the one correction I have for her. I think that a wooden toilet seat is a little dated. That's distracting for me, especially with the wood floor. I would just like to see a white regular porcelain seat just to not break up the lines so much. Love the way you kept the fireplace and made it work in the space. This is the perfect way to do a renovation and lean into your home style. That whole bathroom would not be that cool without that wallpaper. And literally, like the pink next to the black would be too harsh. It wouldn't make sense with the fireplace. A funky wallpaper and leaning into it is the perfect way to solve this problem. Okay, so here at the end, she buries the lead. Here is her redoing the bathroom. Seeing the before in the before positioning always makes the after more impressive. She took an empty space and made it super cute. We love her wallpaper. Why did you bury the lead? I got so confused. Fused, it was great. On to the next. You know what makes me so happy? To see a strong, independent female redoing her home space in flip flops and a skirt. Because you know what? We can do that. That skirt, that cute top, those shoes, not stopping her. She's gonna get this done. And I say that because I'm pretty sure I do every remodel in a skirt or dress. Girl, you keep cleaning in that cute outfit. Okay, stylistically, there are some bold decisions going on here, but she's already won me over with her can-do attitude, so I'm just gonna wait till the end and reserve my judgment. Just a lot of frill happening for such a small space. Okay, so the tonality would help a lot with the eccentric parts of the detail in the design. The lace has the detail in the back and the white. The bed has lacing detail. Your rug is yet another pattern. If she kept that all in a muted color palette, then it would really allow those textures to shine through. Too much texture, too many patterns, too many colors can be busy. And, texture in the lighting. It bounces and moves. You know what, if you're a 16 year old girl, this room is probably amazing. Stylistically, maybe doesn't make my heart sing, but she put all her effort into it. She's still going. Oh, she's doing the whole house. Do we get to watch her do like multiple rooms? Is that what's happening? And again, she's in a dress while painting. I feel like 
I would be friends with this girl. Look at her with her little furry slippers and her gold dress attacking that wall. I'm starting to think she stages that trash because she always sweeps it the same way and like the same pile. It's like the pre-production guy was like, here, trash, so you have something to sweep. Again, I think she's really good at the preteen bedroom. This is a lot of commitment again to texture and color and fake floral. Each element could be creative and stand out, but when you muddy them all together, a teal rug? Okay, when I meant keep everything in the same tone, this is not what I meant. These colors clash. How do I teach color clashing? She might be colorblind. No. No, you looked good doing it, no. You have colored lights on the wall, like bring them all the way up to the ceiling, please. You don't need to add the extra floral toppers, too many fake florals. Why is the lamp like facing the bed? Teal is my favorite color and she just ruined teal. Maybe that's why I'm so mad at her. <laughs> that glass of wine there ready to go and that heart, I don't think anyone's gonna be paying attention to the room and what color it is, so maybe they got that going for them. Just drink that bottle of wine, turn out the lights, you won't know any different. I feel like she needs to take this talent and instead of doing interior design, she'd be like really good at that like party background booth design that you need. That's when you want this many lights and that many colors. Thanks for tuning in for another episode of Designer Reacts. Don't forget to follow me at Brigan Jane on social media so you don't end up the victim of someone else's design leftovers.